ladies and gentlemen. Because uh, we work together on Run the World, and we've spent this entire second season of filming the show talking about interior design. And she was like, "Oh, I'm going to start a YouTube channel, and I'm obsessed with it, and I'm buying all this stuff for my, my apartment that I'm in for two months." <laughs> so I was like, "Well, you should come to my house because I've lived in this house for six years, and it's still not done." She said that she wanted to start with a guest room because it's like a simple place and it's like less committal, I guess, because it's like a space that I'm not in a ton of time. But I do use this room to do like self tapes for auditions with my husband. Um, sometimes to do like Zoom interviews, like during the pandemic, we, I did all my Zoom stuff from here. So it's kind of nice that we're gonna turn it into like a half workspace, half guest room. Totally, and so basically we've just been exchanging things on Instagram, <laughs> exchanging like images, and I honestly, I had accumulated probably at least like 200 items that I had just sent to myself from different places on the inter internet based on things that I had showed her that she said she liked or didn't like because mm -hmm. there were a lot of things that you were like, that's nice, but not for my house. Yeah. So I was like, okay, don't, <laughs> don't do anything like that. Um, <laughs> changing things that we like, we mm -hmm. both ag agree on taste wise. And then um, just like coming in the room and getting idea, an idea for the space and what it could use, what it couldn't use. And then also taking measurements. I came in here and took measurements mm -hmm. and um, talking about how you want to live in the space. Like she mentioned before, like she does zooms in here. So I was like, we definitely need like a space where you can put like a computer down and have like a seating area or like um, a mirror, like a mirror where you can check yourself a little bit better. Um, just like functional things like that. You want a st more storage, a bigger yep. storage space. So finding out how based on her likes and like my sort of like aesthetic, how those can blend and work well in the room. So <laughs> that's what we've done. And <laughs> that's what you guys are gonna see in this room. So, I don't know, is there anything else? I thought it was important for you to see what was already here so that you could use what we like that's already in the room. Like the bed I had, we were talking back and forth, like should we get a different bed? Because I have a California king size bed in this room. It's right. humongous and no one's ever here. Right. So I'm like, why do I have this giant bed? But the room is big. So it kind of fills the space appropriately, but so we were going back and forth on whether or not we should get a queen size bed, but the bed itself is nice. So we're just gonna leave it for now. The bed itself is gorgeous. And actually it was great that I came because once I measured, I figured out, oh, I can definitely find nightstands and what I've done or started the process of, which you don't, haven't seen or anything is upcycling some antique dressers. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> side tables so, that I found. so I actually ended up, we were thinking, oh my God, cause right now you only have one side table and mm -hmm. you thought there wasn't room on the other side of the bed for another one. But in fact, I found ma matching ones that are <laughs> really, really good and really beautiful in here. So little things like that, yeah. that was important to come in the space and like see and problem solve that way. Um, so hopefully I do a good job. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not worried. You have really, really great taste. And I also, one thing about me as her client, um, <laughs> I'm very type A and, um, what's the word? <laughs> like, uh, micromanaging. Yeah. So I told her not to tell me too much because I just have to trust her aesthetic. Cause if she sees something, I might pinpoint why one little thing won't work, but she has an overall vision that I don't know. I don't have that skill. So for the most part, Corbin's kind of just doing this without Taking me seeing it. I, all right, well, this is gonna be fun. I can't wait to, for you guys to see like the reveal. I'm gonna try and like install in a day so I can like surprise you. I mean, there's like a piece that's coming that like, I, that's just gonna have to get in here. Yeah. But um, aside from that, I'm gonna like decorate and like put everything together and do it in like one day, like very like HGTV oh style. God, I can't wait, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see the after. Thanks, Amy. Yay. <laughs> Hello, good morning. So I am doing one last thing before I head over to Amber's um, to install her room makeover. And it is um, putting a piece of art in this frame here. So I just need to mount it. This is like a DIY hack. I'm gonna cut out uh, 18 by 22, which is the opening of this frame and mount it on um, the art on here and then put it inside the frame and put the hanging harbor on and then that'll be that. So this is a good hack for if you need to not pay someone to mount art for you and you just wanna do it quickly on your own. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm actually just gonna use this piece of cardboard from the back of a like Ikea frame. So I'm just cutting 
all of this, like I said, using um, a box cutter, and I did end up measuring it out. And of course, if you run into this issue where it's not fitting exactly, just take the straight edge out and cut and cut until it fits snug in the frame. This is a digital download vintage print that I got off of Etsy for probably about $5. And I just sent it to a local print shop and they printed it out on a canvas. Um, you do not need to glue with the hot glue on the front you really can just wrap it around the back and just glue the back but I'm literally folding the corners down like I'm wrapping a present and then going back in with those excess pieces that you can see sort of hanging over the edge folding those down and then gluing those so everything just lays flat when I put it into the frame. This ended up fitting in perfectly with the canvas on it, so I did not feel like I needed to also tape it, but you can get like a t um, tape that makes it lay flat, or you could just use painter's tape. Then next up, I'm just drilling two pilot holes into the back of the frame, um, and then I have these twist-in cup hooks that I put into the holes so that I can attach hanging wire into them. Um, I hammered them a little into the pilot holes a little bit and then screw them in. And then you just wrap the wire around itself on both sides. You want to make it pretty snug and it stays and you have art that you can hang up on the wall. This whole process is super affordable and it's a great way to get custom art in your home at an affordable price. And that frame is thrifted. So this is a look at the room before. The first things first was I did not like the TV on that dresser or that media console, so I had her hang it on the wall her handyman hung it on the wall and that is getting replaced with a antique piece that got shipped in from hudson new york an antique store in hudson new york that is it has storage and it's a really beautiful piece that sort of will play better with the color scheme i have going in the room this is the bed before those light fixtures stay i have new nightstands coming in we change out this rug but the bedding gets much more layered I did have Amber help me with the rug. That's the only thing. I could not do that on my own. But this rug came from Amber Interiors line with Laloy. And I use all of the colors in this rug. I pull from a bunch of the colors in this rug to design the room. Um, so I just also felt like the color of it was more grounding and richer since she didn't want me to paint the walls or do anything permanent like that. Okay, we're in Amber's guest bedroom. It's time to get to work. First thing I'm gonna do is, there's so much to do. <laughs> I'm gonna put the painting up first just cause I feel like it'll be a good guide point. So let's do it. It's amazing how much of a difference that artwork made in the space. You can already see how the, the rug and the art are just adding so much depth and warmth to the space. Like it's a very white, bright space and these deeper, richer colors just make it feel homier in my opinion. 
So these sheets are from Target. Um, I, of course, will link everything I can down below. I did complete this makeover almost a year ago, so some stuff might not be available. So, in the middle of making the bed, very cool trick, um, getting the insert into the duvet. This Casa Luna bedding is not, uh, this is their linen line. This is really nice. Wow. And I was like thinking, oh, this is kind of expensive. Worth it. If you're thinking about getting the linen duvet comforter from Casa Luna, this is your sign. Get it. Uh, okay, so you start by turning this inside out. Usually there are ties. I'm just gonna tie the edges. Put it on like this. So then the opening is down there at the moment. So you roll this like a burrito, just like this. Roll, 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 All rolled. Then you flip it, okay? You stick this inside of here. You stick the roll inside of the opening, like this. Stick it in the opening. Stick the whole chunk in there, the whole burrito, okay? And then, you unroll, and ladies and gentlemen, the comforter's on, just like that. And you don't have to worry about getting inside of the comforter. That's the trick. Okay, pro tip, making your bed look like super hotel luxe. With the duvet comforter, with the insert, fold it down halfway. So, um, when you have a print, uh, put the sheet on upside down so that when you fold it over, the print is showing. But put the duvet folder over halfway and fold it back up like this. You get a little bit of the print showing. And it just looks fluffy and inviting and like a bed that you want to just jump into. So. The next thing I have is this Casa Luna quilt, which <clears throat> is so soft. I think it's a cashmere blend, maybe. It's the foot of the bed. Another cool trick with the pillow is if you don't want those tails just like flopping and hanging off, you can fold the top piece under and then fold the pot bottom piece into it so you get that nice neat tuck and you don't have um, like floppy ends and it just looks like it's fitted onto the pillow. And then these three pillowcases I got off of Etsy from different sellers, but the mix of patterns helps to add color and character to the room. And then that Kanta quilt is from an Etsy seller in India. These nightstands, he will have seen my DIY that I did before this came out. So go back and watch that if you are not up to date, but I flipped these from a Facebook marketplace find. They were so ugly. I changed the hardware, I painted them, I sanded them, I painted them, and polyurethane them, and now they're this really beautiful little masterpiece for her bedroom. And I did this because I couldn't find anything that was the right size. It's a very tight space on either side of here. So here's the moment of truth. Hopefully these fit. They fit! <laughs> I mean, I measured, so they should fit. Looks so good. Okay, so the next piece of this is these chairs. Amber wanted to have a space or i wanted amber to have a space where she could work because i asked her how do you use this room and she said we do self tapes in here so i ordered these two barrel chairs from target they have really good reviews online i'm gonna open these up and hopefully this is gonna be my first time seeing them in person because i just had them shipped here but hopefully they look amazing so let's open these up and create a little nook here. I also got a marble bistro accent table from World Market and I actually have it in my house also. I love it so much. Um, so I'm gonna put that together. It's super easy to put together and then create this little nook over here. And then honestly, it'll be time to style. This went by way faster than I thought it would. 
These are the Vernon Brown Velvet chairs from the Studio McGee line. I believe they're still in stock, but they also have ones that swivel now, so I'll link them down below. Oh wow, they're really pretty, guys. This bistro marble accent table is perfect as like a little table to eat on. I have it in my loft that I use for my movie my movie room makeover and I eat lunch on it basically every day. It also could double really nicely as a desk. So I was trying to decide if I was going to put these on the wall and I think it adds an element of interest. So I'm just going to go for it. It'll be a nice styling feature and I'll just add some warmth over here and sort of frame this up. So Amber has kids who love to obviously play and touch and grab things, so I wanted to make sure I didn't put real candles up there, so those are just battery operated, which are a great alternative if that's a concern for you. It's a warm white flickering light and you still get the vibe. Okay, let's style this beautiful console. This is an antique console that I convinced Amber to, Amber to buy from Hudson for her guest bedroom. So it's so beautiful. The marble is like super aged. I wanted it in my own house, but I had nowhere to put it. So I was like, you need to buy it. Some of these pieces are from, a couple of these pieces are from Olive Atelier and the rest is just stuff that Honestly, I had an overflow of decor, so I was like, Amber could use this. And some of it is stuff she already had, like the books. So let's go. So anytime I'm styling, you really just have to play. But I usually like to start with a stack of books. Large scale books, preferably coffee table books. And it's always nice if they're, you know, of interest. If there's something interesting in them, like art, fashion, cooking, whatever. Then on top of the books, I added this vintage bowl that I got from Olive Atelier, as well as this vintage Turkish vase that I also got from Olive Atelier. And then this mirror you will have seen if you watched part one of this video, which if you haven't, go back and watch it. Amber and I go vintage antique shopping together and she found this really awesome gold aged mirror. That was perfect for styling and just helps reflect the light around the room. So then in this corner, I added this vintage stool that Amber already had. I have seen these on Etsy, so I can link some similar ones down below. And then just some more coffee table books that Amber also already had. And then this is an older Target vase um, from the Studio McGee line and just a faux stem. I just thought it was a nice sort of interesting moment in that corner. And then I lit a candle. And that was really it for this corner of the room, and that completed the makeover in Amber's guest bedroom. So here's a look back at the before of the room. I really think everything I added added character, charm, weight, depth, beauty, and adding in all of those vintage pieces makes the room feel like it has a story, it has a point of view, um, and I... I think it's such a cozy space for guests, a cozy space to work, there's more storage and everything just speaks to each other. Pulling colors from the rug into the bedding and the painting into the rug and into the dresser, it just is all telling the same story. And then of course the mix of vintage and modern pieces is my favorite way to add texture and interest and story to any room. And now for my favorite part, the reveal to their whole family in three, two, one. This is what like. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Close my eyes. This is so oh. oh my god! I saw those chairs on the internet! Whoa. You bought them! <laughs> I know, I, I, know I tried to keep it a secret, stuff. how you? Oh my gosh, Corbin. Do you like that? I like that. Put I those do. Candles up there? These are fake, I because I, I but you just put you gotta put new batteries in here, but you can't. Yeah. And those tables are perfect. Those so I so you know it fits right there. I met, and I put a little liner in here and everything. <laughs> oh, the, you so put a liner in there? Well, I didn't want you to. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, this is so. Uh, I, I don't like my bedroom. I, I, I wonder if you like. I want, 
Thank you, Auntie Connie. Yeah, so, yeah. Right? Aren't they nice? This looks Isn't great. it nice, honey? This is amazing. Yeah. You this like it? Great. I love it. It was so fun to watch Ava explore the room and play around with everything, my staging, my silly staging, and she started playing waitress and just see the reaction. So it was such a fun process. They're really enjoying the space. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some inspiration and some ideas. And I will see you in the next one.